Part 1. Gone Girl is a novel written by Gillian Flynn that was published in 2012. The novel follows the story of a married couple, Nick and Amy Dunn, whose relationship takes a dark turn when Amy goes missing on their fifth wedding anniversary. In this part of the summary, we will discuss the events of the first part of the novel. The novel is divided into three parts, with each part revealing more about the characters and the plot. The first part of the novel is titled Boy Loses Girl and introduces the main characters and the events leading up to Amy's disappearance. The novel begins with Nick Dunn, the protagonist, reflecting on his marriage to Amy and how it has deteriorated over time. Nick is a former writer who has moved back to his hometown in Missouri after losing his job in New York City. He and Amy met in New York, fell in love, and got married, however, their marriage has been struggling for some time, and Nick feels like he is no longer in love with Amy. On the morning of their fifth wedding anniversary, Nick wakes up to find that Amy is missing. He searches the house and the surrounding area, but cannot find her. He calls the police and reports her missing, and a search party is organized to look for her. As the investigation progresses, Nick becomes the prime suspect in Amy's disappearance. The police discover that Nick and Amy had been having marital problems, and that Nick had been having an affair with a younger woman named Andy. Nick's behavior after Amy's disappearance raises suspicion, and he is scrutinized by the media and the public. Amy, the missing wife, is revealed through a series of diary entries that she had been writing for years. Through these entries, we learn about her life before meeting Nick and how she came to be married to him. Amy is depicted as a beautiful, intelligent woman who has always had a troubled relationship with her parents. She also reveals that she is afraid of being murdered, and she has taken steps to protect herself in case something happens to her. As the investigation continues, it becomes apparent that Nick and Amy's relationship was not what it seemed. Nick begins to uncover secrets about Amy's past and realizes that she may not be the person he thought she was. He also discovers that Amy had been planning her disappearance for months and had left clues for him to find. The first part of Gone Girl sets the stage for the rest of the novel. It establishes the characters and their relationships, introduces the mystery of Amy's disappearance, and sets up the twists and turns that will occur later in the story. The first part of the novel leaves the reader wondering what really happened to Amy and who is responsible for her disappearance. Part 2 the second part of Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn is titled Boy Meets Girl, and it delves deeper into the events surrounding Amy's disappearance. In this part of the novel, the plot takes a dramatic turn as the true nature of the characters is revealed, and the story becomes even more twisted and suspenseful. The second part of the novel is narrated alternately by Nick and Amy. Through Nick's narration, we learn that he is becoming increasingly desperate as the police and the media continue to investigate him. He hires a lawyer and tries to clear his name, but the evidence against him continues to mount. Meanwhile, through Amy's narration, we learn that she is not dead, as Nick and the police believe, but has faked her own disappearance. She has been living in a cabin in the woods, carefully planning her next move. She is angry with Nick for his affair and for not loving her as he used to, and she wants revenge. Amy's narration reveals that she has been planning her revenge for a long time and that she has left clues for Nick to find. She has also created a persona, Amazing Amy, based on a series of children's books that her parents wrote about her when she was a child. She uses this persona to manipulate Nick and others and to make herself look like the victim. As Nick and the police investigate Amy's disappearance, they begin to uncover clues that suggest that Amy was not the person they thought she was. They find evidence that suggests that she had been manipulating Nick and others for a long time, and that she had a dark and dangerous side. They also discover that Amy had taken out a large life insurance policy on Nick before she disappeared, which raises suspicions about her motives. Nick becomes increasingly desperate as the evidence against him mounts. He realizes that he needs to find Amy in order to clear his name, and he begins to search for her in earnest. Meanwhile, Amy continues to plot her revenge and to manipulate those around her. The second part of Gone Girl is full of twists and turns, as the reader is led to believe one thing, only to have their assumptions turned on their head. The plot is complex and suspenseful, as the true nature of the characters is slowly revealed. The reader is left wondering what will happen next and who is really responsible for Amy's disappearance. As the second part of the novel comes to a close, the reader is left with a sense of unease and uncertainty. The true nature of the characters has been revealed, 
but the mystery of what really happened to Amy is still unresolved. The reader is left eagerly anticipating the third and final part of the novel, which promises to provide the answers to the questions that have been building throughout the story. Part 3 The third and final part of Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn is titled Boy Wins Girl, and it brings the story to a shocking and thrilling conclusion. In this part of the novel, the mysteries surrounding Amy's disappearance are finally revealed, and the characters are forced to confront the consequences of their actions. The third part of the novel is narrated alternately by Nick and Amy as the two characters finally come face to face. Through Nick's narration, we learn that he has finally found Amy, who has been hiding in a remote cabin in the Ozarks. However, their reunion is not what he expects as Amy has a sinister plan in mind. Through Amy's narration, we learn that she has been planning her revenge for a long time and that she has carefully crafted a story that will make her the victim and Nick the villain. She has set up a series of clues and evidence that will incriminate Nick in her disappearance, and she plans to use this evidence to ensure that Nick is punished for his infidelity and betrayal. As the two characters confront each other, the true nature of their relationship is revealed. We learn that Amy has been manipulating Nick and others for years, and that she is capable of great violence and cruelty. We also learn that Nick is not the innocent victim that he initially appears to be, as he has been lying to himself and others about his true feelings and motivations. The plot of the third part of the novel is full of twists and turns, as the reader is led to believe one thing, only to have their assumptions turned on their head, the true nature of the characters is finally revealed, as they are forced to confront the consequences of their actions. As the novel comes to a close, the reader is left with a sense of shock and disbelief. The plot has taken unexpected turns and the characters have revealed themselves to be more complex and troubled than they initially appeared. The novel is a dark and twisted exploration of the nature of love, betrayal, and revenge, and it leaves the reader with much to ponder.